Hello, everybody. My lens is like dirty. There we go. Um, some of you may know that I am leaving in a few short days for a journey to Africa. I have been wanting to go on this trip for a very, very, very long time, and I'm finally going. And going across the country and traveling is not the easiest thing, so I have bought some things off Amazon. I thought I would share with you what's inside this giant box. So the first thing when it comes to traveling is having a trusty travel pillow. I have bought this puppy, and trust me, she wasn't cheap. So I think you can smush it together like this. Don't you want me, baby? And then it just kind of squishes all of your face fat and like your neck rolls so that you can sleep on yourself. But actually I like this neck pillow. Um, I have another foamy neck pillow that doesn't have enough squish like it doesn't have this extra layer so my neck still hurts when I fall asleep on it so this feels good I actually usually sleep with my neck pillow like this because I tend to fall down so then it doesn't kink my neck as much this is a Cabo evolution pillow the travel pillow that works it claims I'll have to keep you posted but I'm excited to try this all right, the next thing I got, I think this is like a toiletry bag. Um, yep. So this is a hanging toiletry bag. It's got one, two, three, four pockets. And I like that you can hang it. Um, I think that's pretty convenient. So we'll see how much stuff I can shove in here. All right, the next thing I see is some packing cubes. I've been wanting some packing cubes for a while. Um, I do travel quite a bit, but I've never bought any packing cubes before. This, um, These travel cubes are made by TravelWise. I will make sure and give them a review because they specifically requested it in my package. So it looks like there are multiple packing cubes. One, two, Oh, this one's big. This one's also big. Three, four, and five. And these are just kind of nice to have to like help organize your clothes. So like, I'll put all my t-shirts in this one. I'll put like underwear in this one. I'll put like baby crocodiles in this one. The next thing I have is some dream water. I saw this on another YouTuber's channel. They said that it worked really well to help them sleep on the plane. It's made of like melatonin and natural supplementations. It recommends that you drink one of these bottles 30 minutes prior to your flight taking off. And they are small enough to be able to take with me in my carry-on. There's four in here. So I have no idea, I've not tried one of these before, but I'm excited to try it. I've taken a sleeping pill before and I didn't wake up for like three days. I have a couple of books that I want to give out. Um, books from my church that I'm gonna give out while I'm over in Africa to some people that might be interested. And um, that's just a little Marissa touch. All right, I got some luggage locks. There are two in this pack that I got, and these are um, TSA friendly, so you can, TSA approved, I mean. You can lock your luggage and the security people can still get past it, so that works. I mostly want these for while I am over in the other country that I'm gonna be in, so I can keep my stuff locked up while I'm not home during the day, especially because I'm staying with a host family, so. I got two of these since I am taking two suitcases with me. Shaker 
great! So I'm going to do a music project in Africa and I thought it'd be fun to take some shake rigs with me to help teach um, rhythm and who doesn't like a good shake rig? So I got a whole package of these for like eight bucks or something. Very good deal. Just a reminder that I will have everything listed in the description box of this video if you're interested in trying any of these products. Um, you can go and click on my links down below and because I'm an Amazon affiliate I will get a tiny little percentage if you click on my link um, to buy these products so that helps me out I will have all the links listed below fear not so the next thing I have two of these microfiber towels I have a large size actually I think this is an extra large can't remember I'll list it down below but it is 30 by 60 inches so this will be like a body towel and then this one is a small little washcloth like for my face 12 by 24 inches they dry really fast um, and they're easy to hang up they're also really lightweight and compact so they don't take up a ton of room in your luggage comes in this kind of meshy bag that you can fold it back into when you're done using it on your trip or whatever these are made by the company Rainleaf. They actually gave me a 20% off code, so I will post that below. If any of you guys are interested in uh, some towels, I'll post this 20% off code that you can use down below. So here's the size of the washcloth. It's actually bigger than you'd think. It's actually bigger than I'd think. That's all right though. Another cool thing is you can snap these onto something, like your luggage or a tree branch or something. All right, and here is the giant, huge, big one, which looks about perfect for my body size. This green color is a little bit more bright green than I was anticipating, but I don't mind. I ain't mad. These will be perfect for my trip, though, and very easy to find because it's like bright green. I'm gonna make sure and give these a wash before I leave on my trip. All right, the next thing is my very important mosquito net. So I got this like rectangular one. Um, I don't know what my sleeping accommodation is exactly gonna be like. I'll find out once I get to Nairobi. But this one, it does need like something to hang on to. So hopefully this works out okay. I'm not gonna open this. I'm just gonna leave it in this package for me to take. But hopefully that works out. I didn't really know like how, how else to buy a mosquito net. Do you just lay in it like a mummy I'm not sure speaking of mosquitoes I did get a package of DEET repellent as you know many African diseases are airborne through mosquitoes so I made sure to get the good stuff I'm not messing around I've got this 40% DEET because I don't want to get a disease and this one I'm gonna make sure and pack away into my checked suitcase because it's too big, six ounces, it's too big to go in my carry-on. So I'm just kind of making a mental note of that right now for myself, thanks for listening. I got some luggage tags for my suitcases because I didn't have any and wanna make sure that I can label my suitcases so that in case they get lost, somebody can help me. Although my suitcases are bright pink, so they're easy to spot. Um, travel power adapter. The plugs that they use in countries are oftentimes different than the plugs that we use in our country. Okay, this is cool. This is what the inside looks like. I have the power adapter and then it has different um, adapter plugs that you can plug into the back of this uh, according to whichever country that you're gonna be in. Cute, it also came with a little bag to keep everything in. So you can see on the back here that you can change this out somehow ah do the lever hickey do thingy and then she can slide on out okay okay so I looked up what kind of um what kind of power outlets they use where I'm going and they're gonna be using this three prong dealio so I can just scooch this back and slide this right in there upside down okay, come on Marissa smarter than the plug there we go so now I can still charge my stuff in some other country's type of outlet that's pretty neat I also like that it has a little spot here for USBs I 
think that's a nice addition. Well done, Power ADD. I approve of your product. Keep all the rest of the little thingies in here for safekeeping. I'll definitely be giving them an Amazon review as well after I try out the product, make sure that it works well, but it seems very promising. Well, that's it for my Amazon haul for today. Um, I'm gonna make another packing video of everything that I'm bringing with me to Africa, but this is just some extra stuff that I didn't have that I needed to buy. Please remember that I will have links for all this stuff down in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing anything from Amazon.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.